What is machine learning? There are a lot of definitions around, but which one is the most acceptable definition? Actually, even among machine learning practitioners, there isn't a well-accepted definition of what is and what isn't machine learning. So if you are struggling to figure out the best definition of machine learning, you are not alone. Many of us are having the same problem. The term machine learning was popularized by Arthur Lee Samuel in 1959. He was an American pioneer in computer gaming and artificial intelligence. He says, machine learning is a field of study that gives computers the ability to learn without being explicitly programmed. However, this is an old definition. In 1998, Tom Mitchell defined machine learning in a much more constructive way. According to him, in machine learning, a computer program is said to learn from experience E with respect to some class of tasks T and performance measure P if its performance at tasks in T as measured by P improves with experience E. So, what does it mean? Let's consider an example of playing chess. The more we play, the more we learn and better we perform. That means our performance in chess playing improves with the experience. Here, E is the experience of playing chess. We can consider it as data. T is the task of playing. We can consider it as solving a problem. P is the probability of winning. We can consider it as the performance of an algorithm to solve a problem using previous data. That means, according to Tom Michel, machine learning algorithm uses the previous data to solve a particular problem. The more the amount of previous data a program gets to learn from, the better the program becomes solving that particular problem. You're familiar with the spam filter, right? Machine learning algorithm classifies an email as a spam or not a spam. This classification is task T. The machine learns to classify based on the previous data, which is the experience E. The performance of this classification is measured based on the percentage of correct classification as a spam or not a spam, and that is P. There are several types of machine learning algorithms. The main two types of algorithms are supervised learning and unsupervised learning. In this course, we will emphasize supervised and unsupervised learning algorithms, but we will learn reinforcement learning algorithms and recommender system as well. Machine learning is a practical field. The algorithms are like a set of tools. We need to learn how to apply these tools to solve real-world problems. Different problems require different tools. That means you have to understand which machine learning algorithm you should use to solve a particular problem. But do not think of it as a black box where we give some input and it generates some output. We have to understand the mathematical model of these machine learning algorithms. We need to gain the capability to modify them whenever necessary. And most importantly, we have to develop the skill set to use machine learning algorithms as a set of tools to solve real-world problems effectively and efficiently. That is exactly what I will teach you in this course.